So one of the, uh, I think, great interests in the field, and, and certainly a major interest of the patients when you talk to them, is to preserve good outcomes with less therapy. And I think uh, MRD uh, testing uh, has been shown to be a useful tool uh, to explore uh, such approach. Um, that being said, uh, the path to do that is still not well defined. Um, certainly, uh, having being MRD negative once is a good thing, but uh, being um, MRD negative uh, multiple times in a row, separated by a number of months or even a number of years, uh, is even uh, even better. Um, we uh, I'm always fascinated by the. Uh, patients by the, the report of patients who are MRD negative and had one year of complete response on the Cassiopeia trial after data VTD and either no maintenance or a maintenance that was shown not to be uh, efficient. And they still have an excellent rate of uh, three year progression free survival over 90% as uh, recently presented at the at ASH meeting. So I think we really need to uh, start exploring that further. Uh, clearly, MRD negativity achieved early after quadruple therapy seems to be um, uh, even uh, more a stronger indicator of excellent good long-term outcome than you know MRD negativity obtained with prior regimens, and uh, and I think we should be able to find a balance of how long is long enough to identify those patients uh, who for whom treatment should be uh, de-escalated. The flip side of that is really uh, how to reassure those patients and reassure ourselves that we're not uh, um, omitting uh, a therapy that has value. And, uh, and that comes, and, and that is directly linked to our ability to monitor disease. And I think uh, there are some strategies being tested of uh, MRD surveillance, which would have been part of those efforts, but there's also a gigantic effort uh, taking to develop less invasive ways to monitor disease with image or with blood-based um, uh, MRD equivalents that I think needs to be refined in the years to come to have a successful strategy that can be uh, broadly implemented and minimize discomfort uh, to the patients.